Hello and welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're taking a look at Gambit. But first of all, roll those credits. Welcome back. So today we're taking a look at Gamut. Get your together, man. We talked about this. Hello? No! What do you mean, hello? You already said hello! Ah! Ah, it's only going in the blooper reel. Right. <sighs> 2,000 years later. Welcome back. So, today we're taking a look at Sanix's Gambit. Um, he did a really, really nice job with this model. It came out really nicely. Uh, it printed super clean, and uh, I really like the overall effect. Um, so, uh, Sanix does some amazing models, so definitely go and check him out. Link will be in the video description. Um, Sanix is particularly good at doing um, at doing his cutting and keying. So um, what he tends to do is organic cuts. So rather than just a linear cut with a key in one end and, uh, and a hole in the other, uh, what he does is, as you can see with the torso, the torso goes down and up over here, and that's how he's run his cut. So, um, so it, it hides a lot of those join lines in the actual model, which is really, really nice. Um, I've scaled this up as we always end up doing. Um, that means that uh, that there were some there were some difficulties. So the main criticism I have, and really probably the only one, is the way that the um, is. I really struggled to hide the join line on the back of the coat. You'll see that on the um, on the 360 that we do with the model. Other than that, the print quality came out really, really nice. It went together really smoothly. Um, I'm not a big fan of the base. Now, the problem with a lot of models um, is, is that the base tends to not be anything. So, um, so if you take our cable model that we did, uh, I'll, I'll try and put a link in the card or wherever it goes. Um, the, get the, the cable model, the base forms part of the model as a whole and almost becomes a diorama as a result. So, you know, that's got like a, it's got stuff on the ground, it's got blown up part of Xavier's skull, it's got a magneto helmet and things like that. This is not like that. So this model is just rocks. Cool. So it's an incredibly boring thing to paint rocks anyway. Um, and, and the problem is, 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 is because I don't particularly enjoy painting, the temptation is just to bin it off, paint it grey and just be done with it and just pretend that it, you know, just, just go right, well, the base is nothing, so there's no point in putting any real work or effort into doing it. Um, I could probably add some fake grass or something like that and it would, you know, and it would spice the model up a little bit. Um, but yeah, not, not, not a great base. Generally speaking, if I can avoid it, I actually don't do bases at all. So I'll remove the keys from feet and if I think the model will stand up on its own, I'll just, I'll just print the model itself. Unfortunately, because of the weight at the back of this coat, 
I already knew this wasn't going to stand up on its own. So I did print the base for this one. Um, as you can see, we've gone for pretty traditional colours. So Gambit has his purple. Um, the, the card that's in his hand here does print separately. The pieces that this comes in are, um, so you've got the legs, uh, all print pretty much as one. Uh, you've got the torso, uh, the arms print, uh, all that all that coat and everything, all that prints as one. The hands print separately, the head prints separately, obviously the staff prints separately, and this little bit of, um, this little card does. And then the back of this, um, the back of this prints separately as well. Um, it's always hard when you're doing fabric to print fabric because it's there's one of two ways that a modeler does it. Either they do it printer friendly and it generally looks like garbage or they do it so the, the fabric actually looks sort of quite flowy and organic. But if they do that, then it's a swine to print. Capes are an absolute nightmare for the most part. Um, if they're cut and they're keyed, then um, you have to you have to smooth them out and fill them to the point as to which you absolutely cannot see that join. Otherwise, it does kind of ruin the effect. Um, and case in point with this, where that coat was, that join line is still visible um, because it just didn't quite go together perfectly. And yeah, it was a little bit of a frustration. That being said, the model itself came out really nicely. I like the flesh tone in this. The eyes aren't perfect, but my eyes never are. They're certainly good enough for me. Um, I like the color scheme that we went with. So we tried to keep it sort of fairly, um, fairly neutral. We tried to keep it um, sort of in line with what you would expect to see of like a movie gambit style thing. Um, and uh, and I, you know, I really like, I really like the way the colors came out at the end. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks very much for joining us. See you soon.